let's find the solution to this second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So recall that the solution is a superposition of the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. And for the homogeneous solution, we assume a solution of the form lambda to the n. So if we substitute into the left hand side here, we have lambda to the n minus 3 by lambda to the n minus 1 minus 4 by lambda to the n minus 2. And for the homogeneous equation, that's equal to 0. And we factor out lambda to the n minus 2. So we get lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0. So the characteristic equation must be equal to 0 for this equation to be satisfied. And in this case, we can factorize this equation. So we have lambda minus 4 and lambda plus 1. So therefore the roots are lambda 1 is 4 and lambda 2 is minus 1. So the homogeneous solution is a constant by lambda 1 to the n plus another constant by lambda 2 to the n. And to find a particular solution, we recognize that 4 to the n is in the homogeneous solution. So we assume a particular solution of the form C multiplied by n multiplied by 4 to the n. So that's of a similar form to this function g of n. And now if we substitute this in the left hand side of this equation, we get Sn, which is Cn by 4 to the n, minus 3 by Sn minus 1, so that would be C by n minus 1 by 4 to the n minus 1. And then minus 4 by Sn minus 2, which is C by n minus 2 by 4 to the n minus 2. So if we expand and simplify, we have Cn by 4 to the n minus 3Cn by 4 to the n minus 1 plus 3C by 4 to the n minus 1 minus 4Cn by 4 to the n minus 2 and plus 8C by 4 to the n minus 2. And now if we factor out 4 to the n minus 2, we get Cn by 4 squared minus 3Cn by 4 plus 3C by 4 minus 4Cn plus 8C. We have 16Cn minus 12Cn is 4Cn minus 4Cn is 0. So these terms all cancel. And what we're left with is 12C plus 8C is 20C by 4 to the n minus 2. And we equate this left hand side of the equation with the right hand side of this recurrence relation. So that would be 2 by 4 to the n. And 2 by 4 to the n is the same thing as 2 by 4 squared by 4 to the n minus 2. So therefore we get 20c is 32, which implies c is 8 on 5. So this here is our particular solution. And now superimposing the homogeneous and particular solution, we get the general solution to this recurrence relation.
And now applying our first initial condition, we have s0 is 1. And that's equal to a by 4 to the 0, which is 1, plus b by minus 1 to the 0, which is 1, and then plus 8 fifths by 0 by 4 to the 0. And our second initial condition gives a by 4 to the 1, which is 4a, plus b by minus 1 to the 1, so that would be minus b, and then plus 8 on 5 by 1 by 4 to the 1, which is 32 on 5. And now adding these equations together, you get 2 is 5a, and b minus b is 0, then you have plus 32 fifths. And 2 is the same thing as 10 fifths, so 10 minus 32 is minus 22 on 5, is equal to 5a, and therefore a is minus 22 on 25. And substituting for a in this equation, we get 1 is equal to minus 22 on 25, plus b, and 1 is 25 on 25. So therefore, b is 47 on 25. And therefore we have the particular solution as we found these specific constants. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.